Hello and welcome. So if your audio conversion, when you change the uh, sort of rate, uh, it will obviously adjust the speed of the audio clip. So what we've got here on, on the screen at the moment is an example where the original rate was 22 kilohertz, uh, but we needed to convert it to 44.1 for Spark to be able to actually play it essentially. So if I just quickly play what the convert file sounds like, so what you can hear here is the converted audio file. So as you can tell, it's kind of chipmunked it, it's kind of sped it up, it's doubled it essentially, which is meaning that the sound isn't right, it doesn't sound like it used to sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control a or Command a to select all, so to select my entire audio clip in Audacity. I'm going to go to Effect, I'm going to change the speed. And because I need to basically, I need to divide the 44.1 by the original rate. So this will tell me how much I need to increase or decrease my speed to get back to sounding like it used to. So, quite fortunately, 22 and 44, it's about 2. So, in this case, um, we need to divide it by half or 50% essentially. Um, so if we've got a look at this sentence here for this audio clip and I change it to 2% change minus 50, this will slow it down basically by 2, which is basically um, dividing it by half back to its original speed, but keeping the rate at 44.1. So if I press OK now, and I'll just make sure that my rate is still 44.1, which it is, and I hit play now. I'll tutor you if you ever want to get together after school or something. You'll now notice that the actual audio clip sounds like it used to. Um, this is a fairly easy fix, it just depends on what the original race was, d depending on well, what it needed to be, essentially, and that difference is tells us whether we need to increase or decrease the speed. So once I've done that, I can then press File, Export, Export Audio, and then basically make sure it's the M4A format, and then press Save. And if I was in Spark and I'd already imported the um, audio uh, clip, I didn't realise that the speed was wrong, uh, or I want to make any changes in the future, in Spark I can just simply right click on the audio file, hit replace, and then select the, the actual new audio file that's been corrected and fixed, and it will then resync and change those clips for you. Hopefully this has been useful and this kind of explains uh, a potential pitfall or issue you could run into when using audio or converting audio to 44.1 hertz. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.